this video, we're going to talk about the medians and centroid of a triangle. So to begin, a median is simply a line that extends from one vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. When we do this, the larger triangle is divided into two smaller triangles that have an equal area. When we extend a median from each of the vertices in the triangle, we'll notice that they all cross at a central point. And this point is known as the centroid. The centroid is interesting because it divides each of the medians into a two to one ratio. So for example, if we're looking at the blue line, the centroid will divide it into two X and X, where the longer side is always closer to the vertex where it came from. When we draw out all three medians like we just did, we will also notice that the larger triangle is divided into six smaller triangles. And each of these smaller triangles is going to have the same area. The last thing to know about the medians and the centroid is that the centroid is located at a point that is the average of all of the other vertices. So in this case, we have vertices A, B, and C. And so the centroid is going to be located at XA plus XB plus XC, all divided by 3, comma, lower type bit, one third of YA plus YB plus YC. And so if we take the average of all these points, then we're going to get the coordinates of the centroid. We're going to work through two quick practice problems just to solidify our understanding. So the first one, given that AF is equal to 21, find AP. So the original triangle that we had, I added a couple extra letters, so we have E. F and G as the midpoints of the sides. So now we know that this length is 21. The takeaway here is that the centroid divides this line into a 2 to 1 ratio. So let's take AF and divide it by 3. So 21 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 7. Then we know that the side closest to the vertex is going to be that 2x, and the other side is the x. So this is going to equal x, and then we're going to have 2x equals 2 times 7 equals 14. And that's going to be line AP. Second example, given we're going to actually move this off screen because it's not relevant to this. Given that the points of the vertices are 0, negative 2, 4, 0, and 2, 8, we need to find the centroid. So as I stated before, the centroid is located at the average of all of these points. And how we find that? is we take a third of the sum of the x points. So this is going to be 0 plus 4 plus 2. And then for the y coordinate, it's going to be 1 third times negative 2 plus 0 plus 8. So if we do this math out, we're going to have 1 third times 6, comma, 1 third times 6 again. And that's going to give us a centroid located at 2, 2. 